All right, so whenever we are creating a value scale, we never want to, when we have white paper, put anything in the lightest area here in the first box because the white of the paper is going to be the lightest value that we're going to have. And then as we amp up from one, two, three, four, and five, we want to make it a shade darker every time we go up. So the goal of this is when you're finished, you should be able to squint at your value scale and not see any strong differences in color vary or in value variation. Um, for ours, we might see some because we have the black lines here, but it just makes it a little bit easier um, and quicker to get this finished. So you can start on box two or box five, it doesn't matter. A couple things though, whenever you're shading this in, you don't want to use the tip of your pencil like this and go back and forth, okay? Because it's going to take a long time um, and you're still going to have white areas on the side, which are going to affect how you're going to see the value, how it plays with, with the other values beside it. So you want to kind of hold your pencil on the side um, and you want to shade in up and down. It's okay if you go out of the box because this is just an exercise. And for the darkest part here, I'm pushing pretty hard with my pencil. I'm not breaking it, but I'm definitely putting pressure on it. And we want to make sure that we get that whole box shaded in one solid value, hopefully. Now, if you notice with this, it's a little shiny. That's just because of the, the lighting. It's just a really dark value if I put my, my hand up over it here. Okay, it's just shiny because of the light. Um, now as I go down, I'm going to make it a little lighter every time that I go down. Also with that, I'm going to go further back on my pencil so I'm not pushing quite so hard. Okay, so you're going to go from the darkest to lightest or lightest to darkest. Just make sure you don't put anything in that first box. And when you get to box number two, one thing I want to go over is if you hold it back here at the end of the pencil and just barely let the pencil go over that box, you'll get a really, really nice uh, value there. So you want to think about the leverage that you have of your hand with the pencil as you're working with it. Okay, so when you're all done, it should look something kind of like this.